I'd put my money on the sun and solar energy. What a source of power! Creating a lot of wind doesn't actually generate energy. Some people will never see that particular light. Feeding power from decentralized generation such as wind, photovoltaic or biomass generators into the grid system is creating new challenges for the operators. The distribution network must not only absorb the additional electricity generated but also supply it to consumers in accordance with demand by means of intelligent control and distribution. In many European countries, renewable energy generation is currently undergoing a phase of great expansion, especially in wind and solar power. The challenges this creates for the distribution networks are the same for all countries. This is where Grid for EU comes in. Led by a consortium of six European distribution grid operators, this EU-funded research project is testing the application of a range of innovative technologies in existing grids. The municipality of Reken in Germany's western Münsterland, a region covered by Vestnetz GmbH, will be pioneering a smart grid for Europe. The aim of the German project is to discover how existing grids can be technically optimized to make them dynamic and flexible enough to react to the fluctuating power input from regenerative energies without having to expand them further. This combined rural and urban area with its moderate climate is relatively sparsely populated with 182 inhabitants per square kilometre. Currently, there are around 100 substations in the region. Regen was selected as the location for the research project because here we already have the situation of the installed capacity from renewable energy exceeding the maximum load by around 20%. And in addition, we also expect significant increases in renewable energy here in the future. In Europe, we need electricity grids which actively connect households, companies and renewable energy sources with one another and provide decentralized solutions for protecting our climate. The fundamental idea behind the Grid for EU project is to extend the degree of automation in the medium voltage grid which has to cope with very high demand. We are here in the Arnsberg Grid Control Center, which belongs to Grid Control North. From here, we control about 17,000 substations in parts of the Sauerland, Münsterland and the Ruhrgebiet. So, it's especially important for us in Grid Control to have more information about current, current direction and voltage values from the substation in the medium voltage grid. First of all, more needs to be found out about current flows in the grid, a task for Grid for EU. As part of the project, intelligent autonomously operating modules are installed in selected substations. Only those where the most extreme voltage increases or voltage dips are expected. There are two different module types. One type performs a measuring function, the other carries out the required switching processes. A further task is communicating between the modules in the Reken medium voltage grid as well as passing on relevant information to the grid control center, for instance, when limit values are exceeded. The switch modules can independently relocate the open sectioning points in the network. When completed, the Reken grid will react independently to prevailing situations and control the flow of electricity fully automatically to provide stable, economical electricity grids maximum supply security and optimal integration of renewable energies. Customer behavior, however, remains unaffected. The aim is to find technical solutions that will enable optimal utilization of existing grid capacities. Grid for EU began in November 2011 and will run for 51 months until February 2016. The German demonstration project in Reken will be realized with the two project partners, RBB AG and the TU Dortmund. In the first two years, the algorithms were developed and successfully tested in simulations. 
This was followed by the installation of components in the grid. Now the actual field test is about to begin. There isn't only one algorithm, but a number of different programs that correspond to different functions within the system. This may be reactions to changes in the grid or measured value interpretations or prognoses. First results are expected after 12 months. This relatively long period is important because it enables tests to be carried out in the grid in very different seasonal situations. Exchanging the experience and knowledge gained from each individual demonstration project with the other European network operators is a core focus of the entire project. The operators have shown great interest in our results, but at the end of the day, whether they actually adapt this technology and apply it in their power grids is something each individual operator will have to decide for themselves. The desired goal is a simple and standardized product that can be integrated into distribution networks, including those of our European partners, despite its high degree of complexity. Vaken in Westphalia is paving the way for new technologies, learning from each other for the benefit of Europe. <laughs>